Hey everybody, it's me Rochelle, how are you? I just got in, I realized that nobody else is home, so I thought, hey, this is a perfect opportunity for me to make my absolute most favorite snack. I almost couldn't get the words out there because I'm thinking about how much I love it. Granola squares. Um, yeah, these are really quick and easy to make. It's a no-bake recipe, and you can make it in like 5 million seconds. Mm, 5 minutes? <laughs> Anyways, um, let me show you what you're going to need is here. Okay, ignore all the fruit in the background. You need oatmeal or dry oats. Um, this is the quick oats kind. I don't recommend using this. Normally I use the, um, the one that's ideal for baking. It even says ideal for baking on it. But I had this from before I started eating butter. So I figured let me just use it up because what the heck, it's not that bad. You need... You're going to need two cups of this. You're going to need um, coconut. I get this coconut from the bulk barn. It's unsweetened. And you're going to need one cup of coconut. Okay, so that's out the way. You're going to need coconut oil. Organic extra virgin coconut oil. This is cold press. It says so on the back, but you won't be able to read it. Good stuff. Smells like a fresh coconut. You're going to need peanut butter. This is natural peanut butter. The kind you got to keep in the fridge um, makes it a little difficult to stir the mixture because it's cold, but it warms up and at room temperature, no problem. You'll also need some honey. This is raw honey. You know it's raw honey because it says raw honey. So you just trust the farmer people that it's raw honey. I get that at health food store. Um, you need a measuring cup, one cup. You need a tablespoon. Because you're going to take, oh, measurements for these ingredients are four tablespoons of each. Uh, you can do two of this if you want to make it less sweet. But, yep, that's pretty much what you need. You need an empty bowl, big bowl to mix in. And then after you've mixed everything that I just showed you is going to go in this bowl, mix, mix, mix. Once it's done mixing, then you put it in a square or a rectangular container. It's good to have one with a lid because you're going to put this in the fridge or the freezer for a few hours. I do the fridge overnight. Okay? Okay, so this is what it looks like when everything is in the bowl. I'm going to mix it all. Once it's all mixed, I'll put it in the rectangular container that is over there. Alright folks, this is the granola bars. They've Well, the granola squares. They've been mixed and then I put them into this square container and patted it down, okay? And I wound up using, I think it's the 9-inch container. This is the one I thought I had to use because sometimes I make two batches and I forget what I do. So the bigger one I didn't need. I used the smaller one. Yeah, so that's it now. It's going to go into the fridge. And I'm going to leave it there overnight because I don't want to have to worry about it and I don't need to eat it right away anyway. So. That is all, folks. Um, pretty simple and it tastes so yummy if you want you can add raisins I particularly don't like it with raisins I like raisins in other places but not in things that are chewy I like them in things that are crunchy I'm random anyhow that's all for my granola squares I hope you love them um, if you are allergic to peanut butter try it with something else um, can't imagine what would be maybe like tahini or something like that sesame paste those are seeds. You might not be allergic to those. Almond butter. Mm. You can try it with anything. Try it out. Let me know how you like it. If you love it, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, while I'm at it, totally forgot to mention, it'll be a Nathan Phillips Square this weekend, or next weekend. July 24 is the actual date, Saturday. Um, yeah, we're going to have some fun there. It's an all-day event. It goes from 10 a.m. to 11, no, sorry, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. I'm going to be on stage at 7. There's going to be a whole bunch of other performers as well. A lot of great music, a lot of fun, and free, okay, free concert and free food. Woo! I don't think I'll have my granola bars there for you, but there'll be a free barbecue. It's another group that's putting on the uh, the whole event. I'm just showing up as someone who wants to help and take part. So come, and I hope to see you there. Nathan Phillips Square, July 24, at, um, well, I'll be on stage at 7. Okay? Love you lots. Bye-bye.